Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to this presentation where we are going to be discussing on design of columns and struts using Rankin formula. This is a topic in mechanical drawing and design in 6. So the question says a machine bucket shown in figure 2 on the diagram sheet attached supports a load of 100 kilonewtons. AO is a hollow round member 1,8 meter in length and BO is a hollow rectangular member of 1,5 meter in length. Both points O and B are hinged. Point A is fixed. Point A and B are 1,2 meters apart. The maximum stress are in king constant and surface factor are 325 MPA, 1 over 7,500 and 5 respectively. Use the Rankine formula to calculate the inside and outside diameter of member OA. The outside diameter of the whole round member is twice the inside diameter. Okay, here is the structure that we are going to be referring to. The section of AO is a circular section. The outside diameter, this one, T, and the inside diameter, small letter D. We are given the information that the outside diameter is twice the inside diameter. So we have got this relationship outside diameter D is equals to two times inside diameter T. Now we are going to use the Rankine formula to calculate the dimensions of member AO. The Rankine formula is FC is equals to Now, sigma is the maximum stress on the member. In our case, it's 325 megapascals. Right. Capital letter A is the cross-sectional area. Of the member. Right. So, our member is a circular cross section. This one. A small letter A is the Rankine constant, which is 1 over 7500. L, length of the member that we are designing, which is what? 1,8 meters. We are designing AO. And the length is 1,8 meters. K mean is the minimum radius of gyration and is a value determined by the end fixation of the member. Now, in our case, our N, we are going to use this information. The value of N for a hinged pinned or rounded ends this ones both ends are pinned or ranged our end is equal to one for a member where one end is fixed or built in and one end is hinged n is equal to two for fixed or built in both ends this one fixed both ends our end value is going to be four for one end free one end this one is free this end is fixed or built in. Our n is equal to 0, 0,2. So now if you look at our question, we are told that one end is hinged, this end is hinged, this end is fixed. So our n value is equal to 2. So our n value is equal to 2 here. Yeah. Then Fc, Fc is the, the force along the axis of the member we are saying fc is the force in this member along its axis fc now let us start by finding the value of fc we are going to represent this structure by a force diagram we have force of 100 kilonewtons then we've got a force 
in the member O A and force in the member O B O A and O B. Now we want to find the force here in the member A. Let us name it F A. And this one we name it F B. To get the forces in a member A O and B O, we are going to use the conditions of equilibrium. Sum of horizontal forces is equal to zero. Sum of vertical forces is equal to zero. To do that, we must find the horizontal component and vertical component of FA and FB. So, the horizontal component of FA is this one, and the vertical component is this one. For FB, the horizontal component is this one and vertical component is this one we need to calculate the angle between fa and the horizontal theta and the angle here let's have alpha the horizontal component is going to be f b cos alpha then the vertical component here is going to be f b sin alpha for f a the horizontal component is going to be FA cos theta and FA sine theta. For the values of theta and alpha, we are going to use the cosine rule. Now we can see that if we use this, this angle theta is equal to this one because they are alternating angles. And also this angle alpha is going to be equal to alpha since they are also at set angles alternating angles so now let us use this triangle to find the values of theta and alpha theta alpha this is a triangle with three sides and we are going to use the cosine rule to get this angle theta and this angle alpha so that we get the value of this theta and this alpha the cosine rule says a squared is equals to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos theta to calculate theta here we are going to have 1,5 squared is equals to 1,8 squared plus 1,2 squared minus 2 1,8 times 1,2 cos theta uh, for angle alpha we are going to say 1,8 squared is equals to cos alpha cos Alpha is equals to 1,5 squared plus 1,2 squared minus 1,8 squared all over 2 1,5 times 1,2. Alpha is equals to 82,82 degrees. Now we have something like this. FA, FB, 100 kN. So we're going to have a horizontal component of FA in this side, which is FA cos 55,77. And here, FB cos 82,82. Then for vertical components, we are going to say FA sine 55,77. Then FB sine 82,82. Now, let us consider horizontal forces summation of horizontal forces 
we have negative fa plus fb just in this equation we are going to have fa right for vertical forces all the vertical forces are going downwards so we are going to represent the downwards direction with a negative sign we are going to have negative 100 kilonewtons minus fb is equals to 4,5 fa simplifying these equations we are going to get our fa this negative if you can check on our diagram we are saying we choose that fa is moving in this direction but now since we got a negative answer it means our direction for fa is in this direction not this direction and also fb is going to be in the reverse direction now we've got the magnitude of fa which is equals to 18,89 kilonewtons right this is the value that we're going to use on our ranking formula on FC here. Let us find the value of A in the radius of gyration. We have a circular section. The area of this section is equal to and we are given that this D is equals to 2 times the inner diameter so we're going to say 2d squared minus d squared which gives us 3 pi over 4 d squared for the radius of gyration we know that radius of gyration k is equals to right where i for a wall of circular section, we are going to say it's mm. pi over 64, which is equals to right. So our k minimum now our k minimum is going to be. Going back to the ranking formula, we have our value for FC is 18,89 times 10 to the power 3 equals to our stress is 325 mega. And since we are given the effect of safety, we are going to say all over 5 times our area our area is 2,356 d squared mm. 2,356 d squared all over our A is 1 over 7,500 and our N is 2 so I'm going to say over 2 it's 1,8 squared simplifying the denominator we're going to say 18,89 times 10 to the power 3 is equals to 325 times 10 to the power 6 We are going to have
if we substitute this k squared by this value here, k squared, 0, 0,3125 t squared plus Rearranging this one. Solving this equation using the quadratic formula. T squared is equals to. Where our, our B is this one. Our A is this one. Our C is this one. So the value of d squared is going to be 0, 0,00036. Then the value of t is going to be equal to square root of 18,98. Our small letter d is 19 millimeters and our outside diameter which is equals to 38 millimeters. So this is our answers. Thank you for participating in this presentation of designing the columns and struts using the Rankine formula.